The Wheel of Time Season 1 Episode 4 Recap Loghain is corrupted by the male half of the One Power. He believes that all of the previous incarnations of the dragons speak to him and that he is the prophesied dragon reborn. After Loghain gathered an army of Dragonsworn and Gaeldon, the Aes Sedai managed to capture and temporarily shield him from the One Power. Moraine is healed by Karene of the Green Aja, who's the leader of the camp and has a warder named Steppen. We also meet Alana of the Green, who has two warders and was friends with Moraine as a novice, and Leandrin of the Red Aja, who seems to dis like men and has been pushing for Karene to gentle Loghain without a lawful trial. The strongest of the Aes Sedai keep Loghain constantly shielded and are grateful for Moraine's help after she is healed. Perrin and Egwene learn from the Tuatha'an about their non-violent lifestyle called the Way of the Leaf. Perrin is enamored by their teachings to do no harm, and Egwene is enamored by a young tinker named Aram. Rand, Matt, and Tom stay in a barn in the countryside. While Matt is sick, Tom tells Rand of his nephew Owen, who was corrupted by the One Power and took his own life after being gentled by the Aes Sedai. Tom thinks that Matt has all the signs of the same corruption. Rand dreams of Matt's bloody red hands, Perrin hammering at the dead corpse of his wife on an anvil, and Egwene being grabbed by the glowing-eyed specter. Rand awakes from the dream, and he and Tom find Matt in the farmhouse where the entire family has been murdered. A fade enters from the shadows, and Tom fights it while Rand and Matt escape. Nynaeve is distrusting of the Aes Sedai at the camp, but she enjoys spending time with the warders and grows closer to Lan, who protects her during an attack by Loghain's followers. Loghain breaks through his shield, knocking Karene and Leandrin out. Moraine confronts him and tells him he's like a candle to the raging sun that will be the Dragon Reborn. The sisters manage to shield Loghain again, but not before he kills Karene. Steppen feels the death of his Aes Sedai through their bond and runs to the cave to confront Loghain. Loghain again breaks free from his shield and shatters Steppen's axes, causing the shards to wound many of the people in the cave, including Lan. Nynaeve sees this, and like a raging sun, she bursts with weaves of the One Power, healing everyone who is not already dead and causing Loghain to lose his grasp on the power again. Leandrin links with the other Aes Sedai, and they gentle Loghain on the spot, severing his connection to the One Power permanently. Nynaeve glares at the camera. Just as the show gets more complex, so do the recaps. Please like and subscribe, and check out my other long-form content for quality Wheel of Time book lore, episode breakdowns, theories, and more. Thanks for watching and sharing.